Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist at Fonz & Porter. In this Quilt & Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the block for the quilt Give It a Whirl. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, you can visit our website and see how to order it there. Okay, on the sewing center we have one block isolated out here and it's a large block. So when you're working on these, you're going to be making blocks quite quickly. Uh, we've got four pieces that are matching that go into kind of a four patch type design and make the block. Now let's look at the quilt behind me. You'll see this block, similar ones in the quilt, and they stand on point, which means that they're creating diagonal rows. You want to follow your instructions in the pattern for how to set together at that point. But let's see how to make these blocks. We are going to be working with 10 inch pre-cuts and we're going to be using some really fun brights and a background fabric. So you're going to be cutting the 10 inch squares for the background fabric. Each of those um, 10 inch squares, then you're going to pair up with a background light. You're going to put right sides together. The fun part about this is that you, you've got all those pre-cut 10 inch squares, you get to get the sewing done really quickly. Now we're going to be sewing a little bit different technique. We're going to be sewing a quarter inch seam all the way around the block. And since this is a large block, and uh, you may want to put in a few pins so that as you work your way around, the whole thing doesn't shift off to one side. So I would suggest probably a pin along it, um, each intersection, each corner, so that it doesn't shift for you. So once you've stitched all the way around the block, you're going to be taking your rotary cutter and ruler, and we're going to cut the block apart. And this is a little bit different cutting now. We're going to be cutting diagonally across the block. This means that we're going to have bias edges. So we're going to be very cautious when we're handling these pieces. Diagonal one direction. If you had a second mat, you could put it on a rotating mat maybe. Just for the angle here, I'm going to just shift them, put them back together as if they weren't cut. And do the cut in the other direction. Corner to corner. You want to be as accurate as possible because this is going to be the outer edge of your triangle square. Now I've got this broken into four pieces that all match. And as I open them, you'll see then they're going to be triangle squares. You take this to the iron, you're going to be very gentle. I would go in with my finger, I open these up, so you can see I'm starting to give it a press already, very gentle so that it doesn't get distorted. You're going to want to do that with all four pieces matching. We're going to take it over to the iron. Now when I go to press this, I'm not going to iron and push, I'm just going to gently open that up, give it a nice flat seam, there we go. Now, these blocks are then sized down to six and a half, I believe. You'll want to reference your pattern for the exact, but if I double check here, yes, they are going to be six and a half inch blocks. And they're just a little bit big at this point. If you've gotten a little distortion, this is the point where you can kind of take that away. You'll see I'm laying the ruler on here at six and a half right where that seam, diagonal seam comes in, and six and a half here. And you'll see how tiny, the, the amount I'm taking off isn't much, but it's just enough so that you can have a perfect block. If you did have a little distortion in your pressing, this is where you're going to make these blocks perfect. Now I trimmed the two light colored sides by the tiny scrap I have left. And again, six and a half is what we're going for. So six and a half here, six and a half here, right along that diagonal. Double check yourself, and then trim off these two sides. That also takes off the dog ears, so that you won't have those little triangles hanging out the ends. So there, got a perfect six and a half inch block. Again, repeat that process for all four of the triangle squares. Then you're going to be using, and you'll notice that in the quilt, there's a consistent blue bar that kind of floats through the quilt. So you're using a narrow blue strip and a little bit wider of the light background. You're going to join those together into a strip set like this. 
press your seam allowances to, toward the dark fabric here. And then off of that, you're going to be cutting six and a half inch strips and eight and a half inch strips. The reason why they vary is that you're going to take your blocks and you're going to place one six and a half, remember we sized this to six and a half, six and a half, six and a half inch strip set to one side. And once you've joined that, you've now made this into a rectangle. So now you need the eight and a half to go on this side. You'll create four of those. Make sure your placement is correct. Watch that this dark bar is on the outside all the way around, and you're gonna create your blocks for Give It A Whirl. For more of our video tutorials, visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.